Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. Today I'm going to be setting up the week of August 9th through the 15th in my uh, wellness planner, which I use a normal vertical planner, and then I print my own prompts to turn it into the original wellness planner slash original extension pack. So journaling across the bottom, these are those. Um, a currently section over here. I changed my exercise to stay keto. And then there's a weekly open-ended prompt um, for a little bit more journaling for over here. I always put, make the middle my most functional. It's got food diary, um, hydration, exercise, all that stuff. And then the top is for decorations. So this week I just got the Huga Life kit from Planners Anonymous. Uh, love this kit. It's my favorite color combo, so I love green. And then they've combined it with lots of pink and soft earthy browns. And Huga Life is all about just comfort and cozy and snuggling and taking care of yourself. So I thought it was just screaming out um, wellness planner. So let's get going. Um, first thing I'm gonna do, oh, and I have the washi tapes for it as well. Um, I'm thinking I might go this one down the spine. I haven't done that in a while. This one's a bit wide and I definitely want to use this one with the little lights um, across the very, very top. Um, I will link in the cards up above my unboxing of this. It just posted this week, so it's there. Um, and then I did pull one Simply Gilded washi tape to put under my journaling prompts over here like I like to do. So let's get started on all of that. I think the first thing I want to do is go ahead and use this washi tape with the pink and green florals. Let's go ahead and put that down the spine. Don't pull your washi tape super tight when you do this. That stretches the washi tape and when it retracts, that's what causes your page to curl. Okay, we're going to trim these and punch them. Sticky side to sticky side. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my prompts across the bottom. I also just posted a video on printing these prompts that I can link in the cards up above as well. So I did pull the words that came in the kit to look for um, a positive word and a feeling and something for above keto. I'm going to put well-being above keto because that's why. For positive word, I'm going to put comfort. And I'm going to try to stick with the browns. Feeling get it done. Um, yes, I have all, so much to get done. So, and I'm feeling like I can. Okay. So then for, to set up the left-hand side with all of these prompts, um, I like to use some washi tape just to kind of make the prompts pop a little bit. So um, I'm gonna start this one eh, a little bit up. I don't have notes to cover up. I love this. Um, this is one of the new 18 month planners that started in July these pages are from I believe it was the it's called something about calligraphy and I just thought the pink on these pages matched pretty well okay next I'm going to use the washi tape I'm just going to tuck this right up under keto okay and this is the prompt for this week it it rotates from week to week there are five different ones this week is what my intuition told me. All right, next I need to come up from the bottom for the currently prompts to maximize the amount of space I have for this. But before I do that, um, if you guys have watched me before, you know I like to put quotes across the bottom. None of these are really long enough, so I pulled a couple um, coordinating Kaiser Craft sticker books because they have the all the good words in them. Um, and so we'll see what we can find. I have this one. I don't know what it's called. It's They've all been out for a while. I will link my favorite sources for Kaiser Craft sticker books um, in the description box. I don't feel like these words match well. They're a little too warm for the pink in this kit. 
but there is these brown words which kind of coordinate. And then I also pulled this one, which is the kitty cat one, because um, it's got lots of pink and green that do match. They're just, they're all, all the quotes are cat centric, but I just noticed this word in the, in the um, Planners Anonymous kit says snuggles. So maybe we'll go ahead and use these if there's anything on here that I really like. My cat thinks I'm awesome. <laughs> I like that. Those who play with cats expect to be scratched. See if any of these kind of call to me. They aren't really. I mean, I, they're cute and I love them, but I don't kind of feel like they are stay positive. They're, they're short. Um, and they're not really calling to me as part of this spread. You know what I mean? When all else fails, hug a cat. Now that's kind of cute. I like, okay, I lied. I like that one. And my cat thinks I'm awesome. It's going to be a stressful week, so <laughs> these will be good. All right, let's put these off to the side then. Okay, so which one is longer? This one. When all else fails, hug a cat. So let's center this one over here. Maybe I can find some little decoration stickers to put on either side of it. Okay, and my cat thinks I'm awesome. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now that I have that figured out, I know I can write all the way to the bottom if I want to, so that helps me then decide where this washi tape needs to go. So I'm just going to put it even with the boxes. And this first one is watching, I am still watching the Olympics. Um, I hate watching commercials, so I actually have about three different channels that I flip between. As soon as one goes to commercial, I flip to the next one, so. <laughs> Feeling, get it done. Hopefully I can get everything done. Next is listening to, I've been listening to my Veranda Mix. Um, right before I started recording this, a reggae song came on. I love reggae songs. They always just... How can you not chill when you're listening to a reggae song? I, I just... I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Next is reading. I am still reading Zone 1. Um, it's a little longer than the um, books I've been reading lately. And I am... Do you ever, maybe it's just me, but like when I'm really in love with a book, I try to resist the urge to just devour it because I don't want it to be over that soon, you know? So Zone 1 is a zombie book by Pulitzer Prize winning author Colson Whitehead. Highly recommend it. It's so, so good. And if you're worried about it being about zombies... They're just the vehicle to tell this main character's story. It's not all, you know, super gross Walking Dead zombie stuff, so. And this is my positive word, comfort. Which you can write those in. Um, I just, I have the stickers, so I figure why not, you know. Um, last week I did a blackout spread and I'm writing those in to put more gel pen on the page, so. Okay, so that is all set up. Now I have maximum space there. Don't really need this for right now. I might need it more when I go to decorate, we'll see. Okay, the next thing I wanna do, oops, is set up my center section. So, um, workouts, I forget, what days do I work out? Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. So there were four skinny little functional boxes on in here. Here we go. So I'm gonna use these for my workout boxes. And then um, I pulled, I'm still trying to use up my um, Wilson Wild Sticker Company um, hydration and scale stickers, which apologies, you cannot get these anymore, um, but I'm gonna use up the pink ones. 
There we go. Um, so I'm going to, oh, and one more thing. I like to do four bullet points for a food diary. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack is kind of the way I put them out. And I have this Zig Clean Color Dot. Um, it's kind of like a mini bingo card marker. It's got a kind of a ball tip and you just boop, 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 um, make your make your bullet points with it. So I'm gonna be using this to do my bullet points. Um, some of the brighter colors do um, bleed through, especially if you hold it down for too long. So um, I'll just show you real quick. So just straight, and the key is using steady pressure, like the same amount of pressure, because the harder you press, the bigger the bullet point. So if you use a different amount of pressure each time, you're going to have different size bullet points. And this is really pale. I don't know if you can even see them or not. Kind of. Um, so anyway, I am going to go ahead and do this. I can do them all twice, but how bad is that going to bleed through? This page isn't a problem because it's going to get Frankenplanned against my black paper spread from last week. Not too terribly bad. So, all right. I'm going to speed this up while I do this real quick and I'll be back. There we go. I don't always write in the little letters, but um, I wanted to see how it would look, which it's the only black on the whole spread, so I kind of don't like it, but it's too late now. So there's the bleed through. There's a little bit of shadowing. So something to, cons to, to think about. Next thing I'm gonna do is take the um, skinny washi tape from the kit, which like I said, is little. it's a little string of lights. And I'm gonna put that across the very, very top of each of the pages, cause super cute and I really just want to. Now let's see what we've got in the kit. So these are more functional to write things in. I don't need those. Um, I wanted to see if there was something to use as a weekend banner. The little things, sit, relax, and read. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. That's good for the weekend, especially if there's gonna be a stressful week. So let's use you know what? This washi tape is upside down. My lights are upside down. Did you guys notice that? <sighs> Let's fix that. We definitely want the lights to be hanging down, not defying gravity. At least I figured it out before I got to photos. Um, okay. Let's just take a real quick look at the cat book and make sure there's nothing in there I want. Like, I probably will never use that when Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> I like live, laugh, meow. Cats are connoisseurs of comfort. That's good for the weekend. <laughs> Home is where my cat is. Aww. I like that one. Home is where my cat is. Snuggles. I don't want to pull too much out of that book. I only, I only want the words out of it, really. I don't want this to be, you know, a cat spread. It's a the spread so home is where my cat is I'm tempted to put the word snuggles right under there I might I'll keep we'll keep this handy okay so I wanted to do something I don't normally do which is put the girl on there she's a little bit tall but um, I feel like I could overlap her okay with this stuff and it wouldn't look too weird she just looks so snuggly and warm and Um, let's see, if I bring her all the way up, I don't want to have to punch her. I don't want her to cover Thursday. It's okay if she's covering breakfast just a tiny little bit. So yeah, I like that. Okay. And then since we have home is where my cat is, I'm kind of tempted to put the big comfy sofa on there. Um, I think I will. 
And then since Snuggles is pink and the sofa is green, I am going to go ahead and put it on there. I'm going to just do it. There we go. Super cute. And then you guys know how I always, if you've watched me before, you know I always put coffee cups on my um, catch-all spreads and my social media spreads. And I like this. It's a little shelf, wall shelf, and it says warm, cozy, loved, and it's got three coffee cups on it. So why not put that on Monday morning? Um, oh, and there's the coffee right there. I'll save that. I'll save that for a different spread. Why don't we use all my coffee in one spot? Um, here's a here's a coffee table. <laughs> do I want the snuggly chair here? I kind of do. Oh wait, here's a little bit smaller one. I'm not sure that one will fit. Let's use the smaller one. That's cool. I got comfy furniture at both ends of the spread. Okay. Next, I'm also tempted to put kind of to balance with her this um, shelving unit, decorative shelving unit. Let's use that. Let's do it. Like I said, kind of balances her out. Not quite as big as she is, but. And then I kind of feel like I just want, I don't know, some kind of quote or something let's see if there's anything that doesn't feel totally out of place from in this book what greater gift than the love of a cat lots of kitties I have done a cat spread with this book um, it's been a while I don't remember if it was something uh, I did when I had my YouTube channel might have been pre YouTube channel. This guy's kind of pink and green. How cute is that? The thing I'm struggling with is this artwork is so so different. I don't know if it's going to look out of place. Um, I really don't want to put something super out of place on there. Let's look at this one. Feel, I think these might be a little bit better. Start every day with a grateful heart. Make it happen. Get it done. I like that. I might just put two brown ones there. Um, every day is a fresh start. Okay, so I have a lot of green over there. So maybe I'll put this green one over here. Yes, I like that. Okay, and then let's look for something pink or brown for over here. That Say La Vie keeps catching my attention, so I've just, this one has a bird on it, so maybe I should use this brown one. And that way I won't have two big round quotes. Let's do that. Okay, and then maybe I can put some florals or something from the kit on those two tie them in a little better like look at those beautiful orchids oh I like that okay and then let's find something to go with this one maybe this one on that one. Oh, here we go. This one's a little smaller. Although I do, it's got a lot of brown in it. I think I want this one because it's got that green bit. Oh, it's too big. Too big! What about this one? This one's got some green. It looks smaller. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Um... I'm just wondering if I want anything down here, like, let's do it. Let's go aromatherapy candle, snuggly blanket, 
about, let's see, there's a little pile of books here. And some snuggly, comfy socks. Yeah. There. Okay, there we go. I love it. All right, let me show you how I'm going to put it in my planner because I did say I had to Franken plan in. So for this side, I don't know what I'm going to do on the 16th. I don't know if I'm going to want to use the pink page. I probably won't because there's a little bit of shadowing from that pen. Um, I'll probably use this one and then I'll Franken plan it in. But um, for now, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Now for this side, I want to turn directly from this blackout the 8th to this 9th. So we need to... Um, tape runner them together. So I'm going to grab my wax paper or the back of my piece of contact paper, whatever you have, and I'm going to go all the way around this with some tape runner, even in between the punches. Okay, and then we will line this up. I like to line up around the punches because um, that's the most important part to get lined up really well. There we go. Let that fall. All right. There we go. There is my Huga Life wellness spread for the week of April 9th, August. April? Oh my gosh. <sighs> the week of August 9th through the 15th. I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to um, start a wellness journey for yourself. If it does, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.